Hello, beautiful people. I hope everyone is doing well. I just wanted to come on and just talk a little bit about depression. I know that we are in the holiday season, so you know everybody is feeling good, they're joyful, they're giving gifts, they're making plans with family and friends, you know, because it's the most wonderful time of the year. But I just wanted us to remember those who are not in the holiday spirit, those who are battling with depression and suicide and grief during the season. And just to know that those suicide and depression thoughts increase during this time of year. People are, are lonely. Some may have lost their jobs. There are people who are homeless. There's a change in their financial status. They are dealing with illnesses. Um, they may have gone through the breakup of a relationship. So there could be many reasons to their grief and depression and, and dealing with suicidal thoughts. And just remember that depression is no respecter of your age, your cultural background, your economic status, your gender. It can touch anyone at, at any time. Sometimes it's even hereditary. You know, there are families that have generations of people who have dealt with depression. It can be situational. Like I said, I'm um, dealing with homelessness, a change in your financial status and so forth, your relationship, um, illness or whatever the case may be. But I don't want us to overlook that because as I said, you know, it, it it's no respecter. It is touching the elderly, which is a group that has a higher um, suicide rate than any other group. And the only reason why they're often overlooked is because um, it's more of a focus on them having like um, dementia and and Alzheimer's and so forth. So the depression part often gets overlooked. Um, but just to know that you know, it is serious and we shouldn't just write people off thinking, oh, well, they're just being lazy or they just want attention or whatever the case may be or what you think it may be. But to take it seriously, to check in on people, send someone a text who you haven't heard from. Don't wait to hear from them. Reach out to them. Someone come to your mind, pick up that phone and call them. Go by and see them. Pray for them. Stop right where you are and just lift them up before our Heavenly Father that whatever may be going on with them, that he will intercede and he will take care of them. Just know that this is um, a serious, serious battle and that depression can and do often have fatal results. You know, some people don't get the help they need because unfortunately <laughs> it's it's stigmatized to, to you know, go and talk to someone or go get help. You must be crazy or I don't want anybody in my business or whatever the case may be as to what may lead a person to not um, get help for their, their um, mental, to get mental help for their mental health. I hope I'm saying that right. But, um, you know, we even learned that even in the Bible, there were those who went before us who dealt with, you know, depression. You know, you think about David when he lost his child. You know, you think about Elijah when he had that victory on Mount Carmel and then he just went into this state of, I don't want to live, you know, anymore. It, it touches anyone and it could be at any time. And so I just pray that as you are enjoying this holiday season, please don't forget about those who are grieving, those who are dealing with depression and suicide. You know, reach out, you know, spread that cheer. Invite them over to your place or your family's place. You know, um, just show compassion. You know, so that we care. Unfortunately, we do live in a world that is very self-involved. But as children of God, we are not counseled to think about ourselves. We are to love our neighbors as ourselves, as the word of God 
reminds us. And to just know that depression and grief and suicide, you know, is just something that, that, you know, no one asks for it. You know what I mean? Um, but it is something that can be helped. You know, you can, you can, join a prayer group, you can go and get therapy, join some recovery groups, whatever have you, anything that you need to do to take care of yourself, do it. And I just want to also leave you with some words of encouragement. So this week, what I do is I get these daily um, email reminders from this uh, organization called Grief Share, griefshare.org, if you want to check it out, www.griefshare. Dot org and they send you these emails and they're so encouraging and so this week it's been all about um praise in the midst of your depression in the midst of your grief during this holiday season and it talked about how you know praise um is powerful it talked about how praise um is healing it talked about um praise being liberating and breaking bonds, right? And we remember in the word of God where he talks about um, breaking down those strongholds, you know what I mean? And so that's what praise can do. But I always remember the most important thing about praising God in the midst of your situation, because remember he said, rejoice, you know, always rejoice and give thanks, even in spite of your trials and so forth. Um, in James, uh, the book of James 1 verse 2, it talked about counting all joy, when you fall into diverse temptations and so forth. But one thing I always remember is that praise takes your mind off of your situation and turns it back to God, the one who can take care of your situation. And so I just want you to remember that. I want you to also remember that you can cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. He tells us that in 1 Peter 5 verse 7. I want you to also remember that in Genesis um, I believe it's 18 verse 14 that says it's anything, is anything too hard for God. And remember, he also said that to, I believe it was Sarah, when, you know, he told him that they were going to have a child and like she, you know, laughed about it. But it said, it, the question was asked, is anything too hard for God? And, and it continued, at the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life and Sarah shall have a child. That's a promise from God. Also, um, remember... And I believe it is in, let me see, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 54, I believe, uh, Isaiah 54, 17, which talks about no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. No weapon. I don't care what it is. That even means depression. That even means suicidal thoughts. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. That is how powerful our God is. And um, also that Jesus Jesus, okay, our Savior, the one who we're talking about in this season of, of, of joy and of thanksgiving, of remembrance, is that he was wounded for our transgressions, right? He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him with his stripes. We are healed. Claim that promise in the name of Jesus. And that is actually taken from, I believe, Isaiah 53. I'm trying to learn to remember my scriptures. Amen. But um, just some scriptures of praise. I always love to go to the Psalms because we know. David loved to praise the Lord. And so one of my favorite, favorite Psalms of praise is Psalms 100, where it talks about make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye I actually learned it as a song, and that's how I remember that scripture, praise God. Also, um, when you want to look into Psalms 22, verse 3, but thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praise of Israel. Amen. God inhabits our praise. Hallelujah. And like I said earlier, when we praise God, it breaks down those bonds. It breaks those strongholds. It brings healing. Praise is powerful. And Satan can't mess with that. It's liberating. It will trample on his head. It will bruise his head, right? And so also don't forget Psalms 121, where it says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Because where do our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord. The Lord who? The Lord who made heaven and earth. Why? Because he would not suffer thy foot to be moved. Okay? And so, 
I just want to leave you with these scriptures. I just want to remind you to enjoy this holiday season. Enjoy this most wonderful time of the year. Enjoy time with your family, with your friends. But please, please also remember those who do not have friends and family to spend with. Um, remember those who are grieving over the loss of loved ones or maybe a relationship or maybe some illness they're dealing with. Some people are depressed. Some are battling suicidal thoughts. Check in on them. Pick up that phone and call them. Stop by their house. Drop them off a card, a plate of food, an apple pie or a sweet potato pie. I do love those, you know. Uh, so I just want to... Um, encourage you that whatever we're going through, let us praise God, right? Let us give him all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. And just to know that what we're going through is not going to last forever. It's not. It feels like it a lot of times, but it's not going to last forever. You know, um, God is going to come and he's going to make all things new. And we could start a new chapter today. December 23rd of 2018. We do not have to wait until January 1st of 2019. We could start a new day. Just ask God to come into your heart. Ask him to do a new thing in you. Ask him to give you a right spirit, clean hands, a pure mind, a new heart. He can do it for you today, this moment. Why? Because there's nothing too hard for God. And he answers the prayers of those who are of a broken heart and a contrite spirit. And that's another Psalm. I believe that's Psalm in Psalms 51. Um, so I hope that this video was a, a, was of help to someone, to anyone. I pray that we uh, treat each other more lovingly. We love our neighbors as ourselves, that we don't dismiss depression and grief and suicide, that we take our mental health seriously, just as we do our physical health, just as we do our spiritual health, our emotional, we need to take our mental health seriously because it is a matter of life and death. If we're not taking care of it, it will lead us to a destructive road. And so many have gone down there, unfortunately. And we don't want to see any other. So as you enjoy this season, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be safe. And I'll be talking to you soon. God bless.